Ladies and gentlemen, we got Maze, Little John, and Dwight Archer. Well, when I started off, I started off with different cigars. And again, I did not know what I was smoking. You know, it was, it was always the colorful band. Oh, no. <laughs> and I said this before, it was always the colorful band. <laughs> but then after a while getting some nasty ass cigars, mm. I had to ask some questions when I did get a good cigar. What's in this? And then that's when I started going towards those type of cigars, which was Nicaraguan type of cigars. Okay. I, I believe we bring great content to Cigar Life itself. And <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Jose Cigar Talk. We're here, the three of us. Of course, one of us is missing. Y'all remember Dwight had to check out. He's uh he's out. Where is he? Overseas, right? Overseas, yeah, overseas somewhere. with yeah, the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Doing some <laughs> top secret work. I'm pretty sure some top secret cigar work. <laughs> right. We got a special right. guest. We're going to introduce her to you when we're ready, when the time is right. But for right now, we're going to get the setup going. Uh, I have almost nothing set up, and I got to get myself situated. Okay. Who's up and running? Um, I'm not. You're not. No, I'm not. Aaron. Nope. I'm getting no one, no one, no one is up no one, no one is up and running. I'm smoking a um from the uh Bagel 50. Okay. And I'm having trouble with my lighter. Oh. As Lord. every episode you have trouble with your lighter. It's not every episode. Most episodes. How's that? How's that? It's only one lighter on the table beside mine. Mine's a lighter. That is the one. Right, but I'm in between you guys, so why do I need to bring mine? Come on. It's well, like, it's okay. what I always do. I'm, I never carry anything if I know my Zay's in the room. Nice. Right? Yes. Always ready. Thank you. You're going to hear his mouth anyway, right? Right, exactly. You're going to hear his mouth anyway. No, no, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm just going to smoke my cigar and... <laughs> Smoking Paul. cigar. Okay. I like <laughs> All right. I like that. I, I like that answer today. What are our drinks on the table today? All right. Well, we have a, a, a variety of things here on the table. I have. Um, I brought nothing, so I'm going to start off because you guys will have a longer diatribe than I will. Mm -hmm. So, wow. if Dwight was here, he'll say put that in the system. <laughs> but and then I will wow. say he would. we already did. Right. We already did. <laughs> uh, Juice Bomb IPA North Juice Bomb Northeastern IPA. And this is from the like, not the likes. This is from the uh, uh, from Aaron. Yeah, a gift from Aaron uh, for the for the table. Yes. So I'm going to try that, and I'm also going to try. Uh, I'm going to ask Maze for some Saint Teresa or oh, Santa Teresa. Santa mm -hmm. Teresa. Santa Teresa. Santa Teresa. Okay. Sure. Gracias, ma'am. De nada. Ma'am with no name. De nada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say what? Well, <laughs> doesn't like you. <laughs> oh no, it loves me. Oh, it does. It just missed me. That's all. It's I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us today superstar, uh. super radio star, mm -hmm. super TV star, mm -hmm. super modeling makeup artist, mm -hmm. Roxy Fab. Hey, yeah. what's hey. happening? Hey, don't forget <laughs> actress as well. I didn't mention that. No, oh, it's all I'm good. So sorry. You sort of did. I know y'all didn't see the movie yet. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. It won some awards and stuff. It's all good. The film festival, I got you. What are you drinking today? I am drinking some uh, Peach 1800. Okay. Oh, it's in yeah. your, your private cup. Yes, private it cup. is. Ah, okay. That's a tequila? Okay. Yeah, right? it is. It absolutely is. And you have a beer from uh, from Aaron also. Yes, and I'm excited to try that. And uh, Maze, what do you have on your uh, platter for this evening? I have a beer from Aaron as well. I'm going to try this beer um, and some of this rum. But I'm smoking. Are we talking about cigars now? Or are we Absolutely. talking about liquor? Absolutely. Everything. Well, what I'm about to smoke is a, uh, I'm smoking a Jaime Garcia. Nice. Uh, okay. You've nice. had that my before. Favorite. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah. One of my favorites, you know. Yeah. Nice. And did you say what you were drinking? I guess I said what you were drinking. Right. Yeah. Well, I, 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 have right. I have some, uh, I have some beer from Aaron that I'm going to try for the first time. See mm -hmm. how it goes with the cigar. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Roxy, did you say what you were smoking? I am smoking... Oh my gosh, my, my favorite cigar in the world 
It just doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. I don't know about these guys. It just doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> what is it? And it's a it's a ogre, but it's by Asylum, mm -hmm. and it's my favorite cigar. It just yeah. It, it yeah. 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 I never yeah. I can't I can't yeah. go I can't yeah. go wrong with him. I I can't go wrong with him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And Aaron, what's on your plate? All right, so as Bruce, Roxy, and Mazay was saying, um, I brought him a beer. I guess this is good. This is be our tasting. Um, I brought a beer that I actually grabbed from Wegmans today, um, and it's called Juice Juice Bomb IPA. Um, it's a pale ale, Indian pale ale from um, New York. Um, actually, the guys, the brewing company is in New York. I think it's called like Sloom, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Sloop. 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 Sloop Brewing Company in New York. Okay. And um, it, it does have a nice citrusy taste to it. Um, that's why I brought it for today. They gave me like a tasting sample. And because of the fact that I brought I bought the beer, it gave me a, a nice glass, glass with nice. it too. So so I'm pretty excited. I was pumped to bring this in today. So <laughs> I like that cloudy color. Yeah, yeah. nice cloudy <laughs> color. It got a nice color, color to it for yeah. a pale ale. Usually the pale ales are a, a little bit darker. But this one is pretty light. It's almost... I don't know. It's almost like just a regular ale, like a um, a white ale, yeah. As opposed to an Indian pale ale, so it's pretty good. It's a like I said, it got a nice citrus taste, taste and uh, as you can see, it got a nice nice head to it. So uh, we are we are going to toast, right? Will I would we, uh, I would like to think so. Why okay. wouldn't we, right? All right, all right? And we do the glass sound. So what kind of sound will we? Have I made the faux pas again. <laughs> I, 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 I already took some of it. I made the faux pas. It's ball. fine. It's fine. It's all right. Okay, we're used to it by now, with you. Right. <laughs> Toasting to Dwight. Definitely Dwight. to right. Dwight. Dwight. I like Cheers. this. Cheers to everyone. <laughs> mm, that's nice. That's summer. Summer, that's right? Summertime. It's definitely yeah. summertime. Summertime. Yeah. summertime. Yeah. Definitely summertime. I do taste that grapefruit. Right. Yeah. I right. I taste it there. too. Right. Mazay, that's the part that you like or don't like. I heard you mention grapefruit and beer uh, before. It, it, well, when it comes to these what, IPAs, mm -hmm. they seem to have that traditional grapefruit flavor that... I, they all have it, so I'm trying to identify the difference between different IPAs. Yeah, where they all got this grapefruit, unless it has lemon. Then well, you know, you taste the lemon more. So I think right. I think that you are. Yeah. I think the ale part, I agree with you on. Most ales do have like the citrusy right. um, grapefruit or something like that. Um, usually, like Belgium ales, um, something like a Blue Moon right. um, mm -hmm. usually has it like that, but an IPA typically doesn't. But I think that's just something that you taste in your palate with the uh, the real hoppy notes, depending on where it's brewed at. Something that's really hoppy, I think that you get the citrusy taste in yeah, it. Every time I go which to somewhere fun. where they, they brew it themselves. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. I'm drinking, I'm like, ah, oh, another grapefruit. Another right. grapefruit. Right. Yeah, another grapefruit. <laughs> another grapefruit beer. Yeah. But, <laughs> but everyone wants to talk about the high, you know, how uh, the high uh, alcohol in, yeah, in the, the, the liquor. Alcohol yeah. content in the, in the beer. In, in the yep. beer itself. Like, oh, man, you see how high that is? Yeah, right. I think this one is 6%. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty fun. You drink, you get a couple of these in yeah. it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Six point five. Right. Uh, I can handle that. Then other than that, I'm smoking actually a cigar that's the first time for me. Ah. It's a cigar called the Headley Grange. Um, I have heard of it before. Chamuco is the uh, the blend of it. It's called the Chamuco, but the actual cigar name company is Headley Grange. Um, okay. I've I've. Can you show to the camera? Yeah. The label? Cool. So yeah, so it's um, so far definitely off the first bit. It's a good cigar. I've been around people that smoke them, and they definitely have a very nice aroma to them. Um, and so far, it's definitely a nice peppery, nice bark taste mm. to it so far. Yeah. So, mm. on no, that note, we'll go mm. can I say that I would like to start our reviews with pointers? Uh, uh, some people say. 100 points rating system, you know. Mm -hmm. Ours would be a, a 10 point rating system. Okay. 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 And uh, and we will do it if you if you can hit all 10 and hit all 10. If you can't, you can't. Okay. And the first one being, let's do yours while we're doing it, right? Okay. So your first initial, the color of the cigar. Okay. What's your thoughts on it? All right. So as far as the color of the cigar, out of scale of one to 10. Yes. Okay. This one would be like a seven for me. Um, for me, if you look at the cigar, it's 
the tint of the cigar is definitely nice, but it's not very shiny, mm -hmm. um, which means that you don't get that extra oily Oil. on the top of it. Um, so is if I had, I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> it, it, for me, it's in the middle. Okay. But um, if I had to take a guess, this cigar burns very fast. Mm. Um, just in my uh, uh, experiences that I've had with cigars, if they have like no real shimmer or shine to the actual body of the smoke it does seem to burn a little bit faster for me when it burns fast at the end you get that bitter tar taste mm -hmm. so that's what that's i'm worried heat, about right it's the heat yeah, so I've that's what i'm kind of worried about um with this cigar so for this one based on the color it would be about a seven okay and yeah. that so you say based on that you would say the oil slows down the burn of the cigar. yes okay yes got it so number two texture and feel of the outside you kind of went into that so the texture of it is very smooth the, if you look at the construction of the cigar it's very smooth you don't got any big veins giggity um <laughs> on the outside of it you know Easy it's definitely work. nice i know i definitely paused myself on it but um you know so you don't have to deal with weird feelings when you're trying to hold it in your fingers depending on how you hold your cigar um you don't get a lot of the stems pushing up out of it so for the actual construction of the cigar smoothness of cigar i'll give that a nine okay yeah now you you're as you describe it you're going into the next next point okay so we may wind up blending some of these points and might might right. not wind up being 10 and maybe a little less okay so the third one is wrapper and construction of the cigar okay yeah, yeah so yeah, like yeah, i said yeah. yeah with the wrapper and construction it's definitely nicely wrapped um tight wrap um i'm not getting any holes or soft mm -hmm. spots in there it's definitely a nice firmness all the way through not hard right but just right. a nice you get a nice no feedback splitting. the rapper's not splitting the rapper's not okay. split anywhere even with me giving it my crown cut easy easy <laughs> easy that's an extra i've seen one sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at one now. Oh, sometimes we give it the crown boy. cut you get some tears but this Small one crown. actually you Small don't get it <laughs> some king you are <laughs> but, you know, it, it, yeah, and, right, I, yeah and, okay. I'm, and I'm not splitting it's not splitting at the bottom sometimes when you light the cigar and you start to puff you get like the one little split in the mm -hmm. middle this one isn't doing that nice even burn all the way around so so yeah. if, if we went back to two and three and you split up texture and feel of the outside still a nine only texture and feel not yes construction. still a nine still, still a, nine. a nine so then mm -hmm. you go wrapper and construction mm -hmm. how do you rate that yeah Based on the first thing that I said, I, yeah. I would I would bring it down to probably like an eight, okay. average it out to like an eight, yeah. All right, so you you are still in the beginning of it. So yes. initial puff and taste. Initial puff is very good. Um, as I said before, the very first puff, for me, I don't really get a taste of anything. I get a smell, um, and definitely off of that first puff, I definitely get like I said, a nice barky taste, um, flavors, definitely pepper. Um, black pepper okay. um, so it's very smooth so um, definitely would give that about an eight or a nine as well all right uh, how the cigar burns ash color and quality yep ash color is very nice it's a light gray ash don't have the darkness what's the, it seems to be doing something at the top there so right now if you look at the top of it oh, what was the word what was the word for it if you look at the top of it the ash is pretty good but it's starting to peel off if you can see it that's called flowering right and so what that means is that part of the filler is starting is might have just started to dry a little bit mm. um and so when it burns it'll start to just kind of move out like that okay well, um which isn't a it's not terrible but you'll get ashes all over right. let me ask you uh mm. when did you get the cigar uh just bought this uh last weekend last, last weekend, weekend. Mm -hmm. last weekend. Mm -hmm. and humidor kept yes mm -hmm. kept humidor. Yep. okay mm -hmm. Um, so what do you, what's the number on that? Um, I would give that a seven, eight. Yeah. Seven, seven, seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're, the next one is three different points. First, first, third, second, third, the final third. Okay. The cigar. Right. So you're in the first third. Yeah. Can you rate it yet? First third, I would give it an eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, describe the draw of the, the cigar. The draw is cigar very smooth. Rated. Very smooth. Very smooth draw. I would give that definitely a nine. Definitely a nine. Mm -hmm. So you, you would grade a smooth draw. A nine. Mm -hmm. What about a, and maybe I'm not might might not use the correct term, but like a full draw, ah. where it's like, whoa, that's a lot, and now, I gotta govern it myself. And and I'm glad that you asked that because me and you, that's the only part where me and you kind of yeah. differ. Um, for me, if you've smoked any padrones, 
that cigar has a really easy draw. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work for it. You right. just, yeah. you take it and it's gone. Is that um, a flaw to you? No. Okay. That's For me, that's how a draw of a cigar is supposed to be. I don't want to feel like I have to give it power in order to get some smoke out. Right. Um, and when, when I, when I experienced that, that's actually a downfall for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, well, what is your thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. I like a full draw. Yeah. I like it where it's so much where I have to not take as much. If, if my cheeks hurt, then that's, that's right. too, yeah, yeah, too hard. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah he okay. he yeah. likes, he likes her with no miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> I like her with a lot of miles. <laughs> Give me all the miles. So I'm just trying to understand, uh, with the, where you're going with, uh, with him with the draw part well mm -hmm. like he gave smooth a nine smooth a nine so right like a padron with the easier draw that'd be a 10 that would be a nine ten right okay. that'd be okay. a 10 right 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 okay, right. okay. as right. opposed to See, something like a nesta miranda um their cigars happen to draw a little bit tighter um that's just wrapped tighter the, right. The, the, right. um the filler is definitely wrapped tighter um sometimes instead of doing the easy, easy the bit. circle roll essentially they take it <laughs> and they swirl it <laughs> They take the inside of it and they swirl it. Yes. As opposed to breaking it right. and putting it together. Okay. If they okay. break it and put it together, okay. that's tighter. Okay. As opposed to that circle roll because it's just it's a swirl all the way through. There. Right. Okay. So it's big spaces Easy. all the way through. Yeah. Easy. Like I said, a lot of miles. <laughs> so like for for you, smooth draw, I would have for me that I would have took it down. It right. Would have been a nine. Exactly. Lower number. Exactly. That's this is ah, yours. It's it. your review. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Next one. Consistency of flavor throughout. I don't know if you can't do that yet. That'll right. I won't do that yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mention any flavors, spice or pepper you may have noticed. You right. said black pepper. Black already. pepper. Mm -hmm. Anything else yet, or you want to wait on that? Um, definitely with the bark taste I'm talking about. It's usually like a lot of people say earthy notes. Um, same thing. Uh, it's pretty much you're getting like that dirt kind of taste right on the back end but that's about it so far okay well okay. these we'll have to check in with you right toward the end of the show and see where you are with the rest cool right. that way we'll get a full rating right nice what do you say we grill roxy nice. Alrighty, yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes where were you on the night of the 13th <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know, well, you don't wanna know. <laughs> let's ask the, the basic question first mm -hmm. okay. yes when start it off you, when did you Start smoking your cigar. Who influenced you to smoke cigar? Nice. Um, well, I met you guys. Ooh. Wow, okay. I met you guys. Aww. For the people. When you know, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. It, it seems like it's been forever. <laughs> you know, people always think we've known each other for years, yeah. but, you know, for like childhood. Uh -huh. But, you know, no. Uh, it was in the 2000s, though. Maybe 2014. Something like that. I would go with that. Somewhere around there. 2013, yeah. 14, something like that. Years, yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, and David Callis. Yes. The facilitator, was, I guess. Right, you know, yes. hey, you Unknowingly, know, but. Yeah, yeah. he was uh, creating a cigar group and hit me up and said, if, if I put a cigar group together, would you want to be a part of it? And I was like, right. absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know? No, and I was like, all right. So cool. you knew him already? I, yeah, I knew him already. Okay. Yeah. And all I was right. like, all right, yeah, because I want to learn Dave. how to do that. Yeah. You know? And then. We all started meeting up. I think that was all like within the same year, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 We all started meeting up and I met you and I, we met you at BQ's mm -hmm. and Aaron, Aaron and, and, and that's how it all happened. And then uh, I started getting to know my palate through this guy. Well, slow down, slow down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, you, we're going too fast. <laughs> you're right, you, you smoked before you were in the group. Yes. So who, like Maze was asking, who, who got you started? How did you get started? If it was a person or something on your own? I think it was just on my own. Okay, and why? I wasn't too knowledgeable uh -huh. at the time, but mm -hmm. I think it was on my own. Um, because it was something that I've always wanted to try. I've never smoked cigarettes or anything like that, but I was like, ah, you know what? It seems like it relaxes people. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a completely different vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? From anything else I've ever experienced as far as, you know? I mean, I don't know. You just get this Well, where did you see it? Just to see that the vibe In the group. Cool. In the group that they put together. Oh, but you were you weren't a smoker when you mm -hmm. first went in the group. Oh, no, not okay. at all. Okay. Right. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. Okay. No. And, I knew uh, that. So just from being in the group, seeing, <laughs> you said you didn't know that. <laughs> no, I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm lying. So no. from being in the group, seeing the post and reading the post and how people are hanging, you, it, was, it wasn't much hanging out posted, right? No, wasn't much hanging out. Which and was then, a, a a thing that we had, like a complaint we had about right. the group. Yeah, exactly. right. Yeah. But, but what what you did see in the group, the content. 
drew you to it. Right. And nice. I would go to certain places like Jeff Bradshaw would do something. Right. Um, I forgot the little spot in Mount Airy somewhere. And I was like, all right, I'm going to pop up and see. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And and then I'm like, all right, well, let me start with something flavored because I'm a little nervous. And what was you that? You know what I mean? And it was an acid. Mm-hmm. You remember mm. which one? Uh, Huba? No. Is there a blonde? There is. Blondie. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Really? So Look at you. You go, girl. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember so long ago. You know, um, yeah, because I haven't done that since that yes. year. <laughs> yeah. You moved away from that quick. Moved away really quick, you know. Uh, I guess, but you know what, though, but that was once I started hanging with you guys. Right. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And then you get the, uh, we don't smoke flavored. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but it also it, it just makes you want to learn more and, and see what, it, what there is about yeah, the and regular I'm, cigars. I'm, I'm yeah. looking at what you guys were smoking and, and, and Aaron, you know what I mean, is obviously very knowledgeable as, as, as well as Mazze and, 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 and uh, who was it? <laughs> 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 who was always there? <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, On the low, too. Yeah. On the low. Uh, Chris was always there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Joe was, he, it was, it was a bunch of us always hanging, so right. I was always like, okay, what are they smoking? Let me start branching out and tasting. You remember which and first what my palate was. non-flavored cigar you had was? I think it was a lot 23, Perdomo. Oh, okay. Wow. You know they got really? a new one out now. Yes. Yes. I, didn't I haven't had it yet. Absolutely. Yeah, I just bought two of them, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? You might have Absolutely. to try that on the next uh, Oh, wow. Yeah, Wait, where Absolutely. did you get from, real quick? Sm- uh, Zone. They have them. Okay. Really? Yep, yep. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, and yeah, right. okay, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a lot 23. They run out. Y'all go. They run out. Right, 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 right. They run out. They run out. They run out. If it's that popular, what are you talking about? I, I, I mean, you know, I'm just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was a lot 23. It was a lot 23. Okay. And, um, Great cigar, then. That's still one of my go-tos, absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's absolutely. a great cigar. Consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I always so, wanted to make it bigger for some reason. I always wanted a bigger... That's what she said. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa. Whoa. I said, what's, your, down, what's, your, down, what's your downside of my Zay? I always wow. wanted to make it bigger. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to come at my neck, I think. Woo! That's, that's, that's what, what kind of day it is today. Was that, was that, was that two hands or was that sideways? Like, man, goodness gracious. I'm just playing, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Continue. Continue. Nice. Yes. Let's, let's hear your history of your cigar. So it was a lot 23. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. So you were hanging in BQs, you moved from flavor and went to regular, and your first regular was a lot 23. Mm-hmm. Right? So um, this one I know you've smoked for a while. After that lot 23, mm-hmm. I went to uh, Widmere's. Okay. Mm-hmm. And. Great place, right? By the, way. the old head in there said he, he had a, a six by sixty. Huh? Oh, mm. I love it so much. <laughs> and he said you should try this when you're out with your girls. And I was a little intimidated. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's nice. You know, boom, boom, boom. It's a big stick. <laughs> and, uh, she you know. said it. <laughs> she said it. And I was, you know, and then the first thing that women tend to think of is, you know, I'm gonna be honest, like. How is that going to look? How I'm going to look, yeah. When I'm well, smoking people, yeah, that. You yes, know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. And I thought about that for like 10 seconds. It looks great. Because then I was like, because I'm bomb. I'm cool. <laughs> I can handle that. I, whatever. You know, right. Whatever. Like, no you know, fear. Right. <laughs> Whoa. And uh, yeah, and I bought it and came to BQ's and smoked it. And it lasts for five hours. And, and I that was sold. that. And I, yeah, it was a six. And I was sold. That was it. Yeah. And that's my go-to ever since. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I know when we were hanging out, the six by sixty that a lot of us went with was the uh, uh, flathead. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah we were on that. Right, remember that? Yeah, we were on that. I remember that. I remember that. Woo! We were looking that, that, everywhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, right. For that cigar. Yes. And yes, we found indeed. it. We, we we smoked that thing, and I'm, I, until we were done. Yes. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with that for a little while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wore it out. Yeah, wore it out. Wore it out. Nice. Yes. Oh my mm-hmm. God! All right, so Roxy, who are you? Can the people know who you are? For those that don't know you, I'm sure it's a small corner of the United States that's not familiar who you are. True. Can we let them know. So should funny. we let? Them, should <laughs> we let? I, 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 should I, I, we I, let them know? They don't. They don't have TV. <laughs> they don't have TV. They, they have the rock. They, so. they got YouTube. Uh, okay, there you go. There you go. So funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, first, I'm a grandma. And I love nice. the baby so much. Nice. So I love Liam so much. So oh my God. So, uh, and I'm a mom. That's look, that's second. Um, but <laughs> <That's> second. <laughs> yeah, Liam's first. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm just. I'm, for work. What do you do for work? 
I'm at I'm on Classics 107.9 where they do on air personality from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Uh, yes, so definitely. Guys, yep. I work so hard for yes, that. Indeed. Yes. Um, I absolutely love it. There's nowhere else I'd rather be in the world. Nice. During the daytime, like nowhere. Um, so I'm on Classics 107.9 Monday through Thursday, 9 to 3 with Lady B. Uh, it's the best. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. I've been working really hard to get there. It's a longer story. Lady you know? B, the icon. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. the radio That's legend. Deep. That's and deep. Um, it's, it's absolutely everything that I thought it would be, plus 12,000 times more. Okay. So uh, I'm also a curvy girl model. Mm. So um, I have a fashion show coming up. With Get up and show them the curves. You don't see it like the girl said. You see it. Curves where you can see it when she's sitting down. You already know. Yeah, so, you know, I'm doing that. I got a couple fashion shows coming up. And uh, I'm hosting a couple gigs. Uh, I'm, I was in a movie called A Road to Truth that was out. and won a couple of films. Uh, won a couple of awards at some film festivals recently in New York. And... Uh, yeah, it's all so it's you did you, doing, you did some plays as well, it's right? It's good. I'm actually doing a tape. Uh, did some plays. I'm doing a table read for a play mm -hmm. this Sunday. Nice, threat. You know, uh, so Quite yeah, deep. it's a lot going on. You know, and it's and it's, and it's good. It's all good. Is so. anyone at the station smoke? Touchtone smokes. Yeah, yeah. Right. We see talk Touchtone. about the yeah. legend. Yeah. Touchtone yeah. smokes. Oh, pop in the lounge Tone. every once in a while. Yeah, it just he hangs. smokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he loves indeed. the smell of cigars. Mm -hmm. She doesn't okay. smoke, but she loves the smell. So and that's the kind of woman you want, right? Mm -hmm. Who don't smoke your stash, but don't mind you smoking in front of the camera. <laughs> 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 exactly. Right. Perfect. That's exactly. perfect. Because I'm that's up perfect. in there like, what's that? Can I have that? Right. Nice. And then you're like, oh, oh come on, get out. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, you know, Touchstone smokes. He smokes every weekend. When he gets off work, he's gonna smoke the night. <laughs> nice, so, nice, nice. Yeah. So, so as a woman, what's the type of cigars that you like to smoke now, and, and at the present? Medium to full. Medium to full. You have, nice. do, have you uh, done as much research and paid attention to know what region, what country you like cigars from, or tend to to lean towards? Um, I can tell that uh, I'm more like Nicaraguan. Okay. You know. Mm -hmm. um, that's where, you know, yeah. That's the ones I, that you like, you that's find out that's love. where they're from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and yeah. do you always get the, the, a certain size cigar or it doesn't matter for you as in size? Size matters. Whoa. <laughs> Don't ever believe Whoa. that it doesn't. Whoa. Heard that. Cousin. Whoa. Heard that. Sorry, Heard that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yes. With, a, yeah. with a cutter. Like, yes. 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 I'm imagining our guest a question. Now, back to the question. But yes. Um, <laughs> I like this in a 6x60, but I, I, I don't tend to find it. So, and if I want to grab it, you know, like, Whoa. You, yeah, Whoa. I, I knew you were going there. Wait a minute. If I yeah. want to grab Whoa. it, touch it in Take my it hand. Easy. <laughs> you, know, you know they make it bigger too. Kids so watch you, this show. Like bigger one? Well, well, you had a 70? Yes. Uh, I, 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 calm down. <laughs> yes. I get so excited. She got excited. Just, just a simple yes is fine. Be the <laughs> sweat. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yeah. You know, no, I've absolutely had that. They have a Lancero. They have a 7x70. I've had them all. Yes. You know, you sure um, have. I sure, you sure have. have. You sure but, have. <laughs> but this was, um, I was at Smoker Zone. So this is what I could pick okay, and grab great, real quick. Great, you know what great, I mean? Great. So, got it. but yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so this is Roxy Fab, and uh, she's our guest, and she, she you may see her in a couple other episodes, but you see her right now, and she's taken hey. for the for the easy. No, I'm sorry, for the sake of conversation, she's taken Dwight's place. But Hi, Dwight. Dwight, Yo. Dwight's still here. This is our Dwight right no, now. Not Dwight. This is our Dwight right now. <laughs> 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 Now, one thing that Roxy did not mention, which is great because uh -oh. she didn't throw us under the bus, but it's our fault. Roxy is also a very great singer, mm. but because she smokes yeah. cigars with us, Bruin, <laughs> them vocal cords <laughs> is done. Boy, she is <laughs> done. <laughs> done. Them cords finished. What happens is I can't, if, if I know that I got a gig, mm. I can't, I can't break. smoke the you whole month. Take a break. You, you know, drink I'm, tea. I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at y'all. I'm like, I want to see them so bad. I'm like, I can't smoke. <laughs> Can't do yes, it. the times do, there are times that go by. Uh, 
What, the months? Yeah, it's been months sometimes. It has, yeah. Where we don't see her. Yeah, mm-hmm. rehearsals and, uh, and stuff, yeah, and I can't do it. Work, it supersedes. Yeah. Takes precedence, so we understand. Mm-hmm. I, I get it. And then that makes it all the while, makes it all the better when we finally do see Absolutely. her. Absolutely. Right. And right. we love her. We now, love her up. I'm also going to throw another question at you okay. from a woman's point of view. All right, I'm all in. Can you tell what a woman? Wait a minute, let me swallow it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Oh, whoa, I didn't want to spit because you're going to say something that's going to be out of pocket. I can feel it in my bones. Go ahead. Can you tell what a woman's intention is when you first see her walk into the cigar shop? Yes. I'm sorry, I answered that too fast. Well, no, no, no. well, listen. I- expound on it. Yes. Huh? A look, at least a little bit. Not too much. Yeah. Nice work. I love you. I love you too. Um, How about this? (laughs) I think it's things where like, you know, we talk about this kind of stuff all the time. You know, when I see women and they're like this. Whoa. And I'm like, you you don't smoke, man. It's it's okay. Right. Let it go. You, it's not, you, you don't smoke. So that means to me that you're just here for the dudes and or the dude or whatever it is. But they and can be okay there. Too. Right, I was about to say, they can and be there. that's okay. Yeah, yeah. But sit with somebody and let them teach you how to properly right. do it. Right. You know what I mean? Like literally. Right. Whoa. Right. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Just, don't put, yeah Whoa. just don't put the stick in your mouth. Whoa. Like, Whoa. You know, like, like, no, seriously, because. It's a kids show. Because I thought about that with the <laughs> six by 60. Mm-hmm. You have mm-hmm. to think about that when you're, when it's. That size, you have you need to. to n- people going to look at you. Let them see that you know what you're doing. Absolutely right, <laughs> right, right, right. 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 <laughs> ah, this conversation Bro. is. <laughs> so the reason it's that the question so, came up is many because things. that is another score for the guys. <laughs> high five. Yeah, high five. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. I'm high five, y'all too. Yeah. Yes. I mean, no, but it's 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 true. I, I see so many. You know, posing on on social media. And, oh no! And, 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 oh, no. The, and I'm like, don't take no shots. Y'all Stop really it. Smoke. Hold I'm on. Not shot at okay. All. Okay. All right. I just, all I said was, you can tell when people don't really smoke. Right. So, so. have you given advice to any women that that you've noticed? Nah. Are, nice. You're not gonna do that. Yes. Nah. You're not gonna do nah. that. No. Nah. nah. Yes. Nah. Even if you get close to them, and you y'all become gr- good friends. Oh. If it's a girlfriend of mine, I have. You okay. have. Yeah, and what's the no names, but what's the advice sound like? What are you telling them? Um, it's more of because uh, what's this? What's the hold that I hate? Oh my gosh! I oh, don't do, it. Don't, <laughs> do it. don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Please don't do it! Please don't do it! Please don't do it! You know, there's a hold that I hate. Don't do it! And it just shows uh, amateur. It shows it shows that this is not a cigarette. Right. It's not gotcha. a cigarette. Okay. You know. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, that ain't no. it. That ain't it. Don't, do, don't it. do it. I don't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Do it. it you know? I, I want to see it. No, <laughs> no <you> stop <laughs> it. But it's a bunch of times, and it's and you know, and I'll, I'll just use this one for now. And it's just like okay, hello. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. I can. Mm-hmm. So let me do it one it, more time. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's my girlfriend, I'm like, look, just relax. Mm-hmm. Act like nobody's staring at. Relax you. your muscles. You're not really yeah, right. Right. Relax your cheek muscles. Get yourself together. <laughs> You know, and all you, you know what, Aaron, you just you say the words and you're just going to gently put it in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> it has so been spoken. Wait, wait a minute. And hum. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's not, it's not all like with the jaws and the, it's just. So you don't tell them how to hold it. You just tell them relax and, and nobody's paying you a great deal of attention. Just. Do, do your thing, relax. Yeah, and just, I mean, whatever it flows in your hand. Like, why are you, yeah. like, you know, you don't have to do, you know, or, or I, I tend to look at Ma sometimes because I never held it like this before. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Until I started watching him and I was mm-hmm. like, all right, I like that. Okay, cool. I can yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there's, there's certain things, certain guys that I will look at. You right. know what I mean? I've looked at you. I've looked at Aaron. I've looked at Chris. I've looked at, you know, and, and I'm just like, Well, when you look at him, right. he's always doing this. So you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Anyway, go ahead. So <laughs> if you want to, if you want to, I mean, we're feminine and we're gonna do it like a lady, and I right. get that. But part. if you want to progress, right? But it, there's, yeah, that's yeah, all. It's yeah. just a, it's just a, a, a progression, and uh, yeah. Any other advice you've given besides the hold? Oh yeah, the way you're puffing. Okay. The way, yeah. And how's that. that sound? And the reason I'm asking is because so, women yeah. watch this show that may be novices or maybe only there to to meet men 
but have then hung, that's good. But have hung a while. You can always to, meet men at the cigar shop. For sure, but have hung for a while <laughs> to the point where you're like, I kind of enjoy, I'm enjoying this, but they still don't know what they're doing. Right. So you, they want to hear what should I be doing differently? What am I doing wrong? Right. Because so, wait, I met you with smoke. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, yep. I met you with smoke. Right. <laughs> Definitely. And that's where that group used to go a lot. Yes. Right. Yeah. I met Surge and Delight at Smoke. You met everybody at Smoke. All I did. Of us. Yep. Ooh, yeah. I didn't a, meet you there, though. Not, oh, not you. I didn't meet you there, though. I remember right. that. So remember the, so that. So the, so the anyway. advice that you give could be reaching the right ears tonight. Right. I got right. you. Yes. Right. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it was always... You said you know, how you smoke was, was it, another one. Right. It was right. how you smoke. Um, what, what, what did you tell them? Like... Well, because it depends on what they're smoking. So okay. the drawl on it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? If it, if they're, okay, then I'm like, okay, is this, is this, is this too tight? More relaxed, you? like more relaxed in right. your mouth. This, than is the, yeah. this, but is it, is the drawl is too right. tight? Is it wrapped tight? Right. So then, mm -hmm. you know, then you need to loosen that up, mm -hmm. figure that out. Mm -hmm. Or pick and a different cigar. Right. Pick right. a different cigar. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of women start off with the, with the flavor. Mm -hmm. There's some women who still smoke flavor mm -hmm. because they just, sure. you know, they're not going to go hard. Um, yeah. So yeah, because if it's like you said, if the if the drawl is tight, you gotta loosen that up, and that will make them look just a little bit more relaxed, feminine, for one. relaxed, yeah, and, and not so more natural. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's the word. We'll yeah, go with. that's yep. the word we'll go with. Yeah, so it's not hmm. like a. You look like you're trying too hard, so right, right. You need and then to, it almost feels yeah. like you're trying too hard just to be there. Mm -hmm. to, you know what I mean? Right. Because right. you really don't smoke. Because if you knew if it was that tight, you'd loosen it up from the gate. Right. You or, or you'd ask someone, right. like, listen, this cigar is not... It, it, yeah, I'm, I'm really drawing on it right, too hard. Right. What do you, I do? Exactly, exactly. You and, know and, what I mean? and they haven't got to the point where they're comfortable to approach someone. And right. that's a perfect way to that, approach a dude. Absolutely right. is. Right. And then the, all of a sudden the door is open right. and Excuse you can have me, a conversation babe, with them. This is a little... Um, yeah, when right. I draw on it, it's a little like it's that. Can you, can you help me with that? Maybe we need to change the cut. Mm -hmm. Change oh, the cut up. Or I might, even, I, I might have a drawer poker that I can poke in there. And but you whatever could, the case, you, but, you're getting into a conversation. You might, you might, you might talk to a creep, though. Yeah, you, you might, might, you might, you might. Yeah, but it's a little tight. Hopefully, you if, you're there, yeah. if you're there to meet <laughs> someone, you're talking to that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a little know, tight. What should I do? You ultimate, spit on it. Because like. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate line is, yeah, I might need that. Could you? Could you poke that for me a little bit? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you know, I, honey, I can poke that for you. Yeah. Yeah. I can poke that for you. Real, 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 real. It's been so long since I poked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. But if you if you talk to a real cigar smoker, then you're going to get into the troubleshoot phase of it. Mm -hmm. And we're right. going to be like, all right, so listen, what's happening? But you, so we can try this, we can do this, we can do this. Right? A, a real gentleman that wants to help you may also be interested in you, but first thing is to help you with your cigar, right. Right. to get past that point. That's Absolutely. what a man is going Absolutely. to do. And he's going to help you figure out your palate right. as well. Yeah. Right. Like I learned so much from, from, from Maze with my palate. Like, nice. you know what I mean? I mean, he will come in, try this. Yes. And I'm like, I don't know. Try this. <laughs> and it will be so gentle. Yes. Try this. <laughs> I think you're going to love this. Yes. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden it's on my list. Yeah. You know, or I'm like, oh, I was all right. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I'm confused. Then, right, then right, confused. right. You know, what? what was wrong with that? You, know, you just go a, back to the drawing board. It's a great cigar. Right? No, no, I'll go back to the drawing board. Like, no, he you know doesn't. What? She needs to do the bow. Right, that's what they'll say. Oh, okay, all right. That's what he You're just not ready. You're just not ready. Yeah, it's like a man. She'll fall. Yeah, yeah. You're not ready yet. I'm not ready. I'm not But I'm there now. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. So, but yeah, that's that's a couple pointers that I've given to a couple of my friends who. I want to smoke cigars. How do I do it? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, cool. I think I think your your tips and you being forthright with what you've said helps. I think it helps some of our female viewers. Right. And I uh, appreciate it. Well, you know, you some, some of the worst thing I can see when a female is smoking a cigar and she doesn't like it, she put the whole stick down and just like throws it. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that in the ashtray? Yes. Yeah. Where all yeah. Just yeah. Away. Yep. Waste. Yeah. Waste. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. the worst. $15. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and especially if it was the first time, yes, right. you had that stick. You right. you got to give it a second. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't just Stay go in, here yeah. and decide. Oh my God, this is disgusting. Yeah. You can't because it changes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I know with even here towards the end, I'm done. Yeah, you know what I mean. But mm -hmm. but I still get down to here before mm -hmm. I'm done. You that's know right. what I mean? Well, that's the second third. Well, down to here. You know what I mean? But yeah, 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 but it's, yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, it's just, uh, you know, like you said, women will smoke a little bit and they're, the whole, uh, you got to yeah. give it a second. Yeah. You haven't even tasted it yet. 
Mm-hmm. So, and, you can, and you can tell it was a woman's cigar because there's lipstick. Right. Of <laughs> <laughs> course, shiny That's at the top. Or it's real, real soggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, real, yeah. it's real soggy. Soggy. So, speaking of second, third, Aaron. So now that I'm in the second, third, um, it's definitely changed. Uh, a lot of the peppery went away. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually gotten a lot smoother and actually turned creamy. Wow. It's actually got a nice cream taste in the middle. Um, That's a plus, right? I'm liking yeah. too. But the burn, <laughs> the burn is a little off. Yeah, the burn yeah. is off. A little yeah. off. Not bad, but like I said, as you can see, it's burning very well, fast. Know, that's that's right. a soft box press. So usually it is a, a, lot soft. Of, mm-hmm. a lot of those soft box press cigars tend to do that. Yes, that's a fact. Tend to do that. One side always gets hotter than the yeah, other. So you have to be attentive mm-hmm. to that. And then because, like I was saying about the oil, lack of oily on the wrapper mm-hmm. as you can see this cigar was Fast. that yeah, yeah, long yeah, yeah, yeah. and i burnt right. the, through most yeah. of the cigar in less right. than a half an hour so. consistency and flavor throughout um just rate it before we we're about to uh, close definitely out. give it a, a, a eight a eight okay, okay. Mm-hmm. that's a good one yeah, that's good. uh so the flavors if you can rate the flavor spice pepper that you have noticed eight eight mm-hmm. and we'll Ladies and gentlemen, well, he's not finished. He will finish, and when I'll get the other scores for the finish of the cigar, and the final third, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll put those up when we put this episode up. Uh, we're going to do our last words, and you guys can close out. Uh, Aaron, you, can you go first? You, you good with that? Um, I can. Is it okay if I talk about the nice jersey that we have sitting in the background? Yeah. We didn't say a word. Didn't, didn't we? say a word about didn't it. Say a word. Man. All right. So as you guys can see, we have a jersey in the background representing. Pennsylvania native Kobe Bryant just yeah. passed away a few days ago. Uh, rest in peace, Kobe. Yeah. Um, big influence in my life. Um, quick story, if you don't mind, that um, I didn't really share. But when I was younger, around 12, 13 years old, I actually went to a basketball camp, LaSalle basketball camp. And uh, Kobe was there as well. He was 16 at the time. Nice. And um, every year when, they, um, when we have the camp, we always have a guest speaker that comes there. Um, and this one year was Doug Overton mm, okay. and he gave a nice lecture to everybody. It was great. And then at the end of the lecture, just playing around, he said, uh, now who out there wants to give, you know, play me, just give me a run. And, uh, everybody in there started cheering Kobe because he was the best in the camp. And, uh, he was nervous, but he got up and they started going back and forth one on one. And then Kobe got a nice drive around him, mm. and this guy took off 16 years old. He took off, and I mean, it looked like he just kept going up and up and up wow. and up. And he dunked on Doug Overton at wow. 16 years old. Wow. And that is like a very special memory that I have of wow. Kobe Bryant. And, um, you know, he just mean a lot to me. So rest in peace, Kobe, rest and peace. your family, yeah. your daughter. Oh, my God. Shout out, you know, condolences to your family. Yeah. That's all I got. Wow. Jose. Wow. On well, that note, you know. Wow. Love your loved ones. Say you love them. About that, you know. Say you love them. And um, if you're a smoker, you smoke cigars. Enjoy your smoke and relax. And Kobe was a BOTL. Yeah, he okay. did smoke cigars. Yes, mm-hmm. he did. We did. Mm-hmm. Roxy. Um, Roxy. Mm-hmm. It's funny. My uh, my Kobe memory. My father went to Lower Marion and uh, graduated from Lower Marion and knew Kobe's dad and you know so I met Kobe um, when he was like 16 he didn't go in yet so he was 17 when he went in Um, but uh, I knew that he knew what he wanted to do you know what I mean Mm -hmm. when he was young Mm -hmm. he knew it he already knew knew that he was going into the league he knew it there was no doubt about it it was no turning back you know uh, and when he signed it in 1997 you know, people who knew, you know, we all knew that he, we knew that was coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, it was crazy to, to, to learn things that he couldn't sign his contract mm-hmm. because he was a minor, mm-hmm. you know, yep. so his parents had to sign his contract yep. for him. And, uh, but just to have that type of drive, you know, just to have that type of drive to know, I know that this is what I love. This is what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. And then he turned it and became an entertainment mogul and won an Oscar for writing a short film, you Man. know what I mean, two years ago. Like, it was just gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. And, and the Mamba University, mm-hmm. you know, where they were on their way to. 
yes. to, 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 to coach some kids, you know. So what touching on what Aaron said as well and what my Zay said is to is love your loved ones, but don't stop going after what you want to go after. You know, never, ever stop. Don't let anybody tell you that you're too old, you know, or, or, or that you don't have it. Because if you know you have it in your soul, then there's something there. Never stop. And I'm a testimony to that. Never stop dreaming and go after what you want. That's a fact. That's a fact. Absolutely. <clears throat> I'm Bruce Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe. Like this video. Check us out. Check our other videos out. Um, we enjoyed ourselves. Thank you for viewing. As always, I love Kobe too. I don't have a, a story. I don't have a bunch of stories or anything, <clears throat> but I love the dude. He was he represented Philly. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Always repeat appreciated that. He never played on the team I liked, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I liked I liked his skills. I respected his skills. I respected his fatherhood. And it's yeah. a super sad situation that we're dealing with right now. And um, I hate that it happened. I hate that it happened. Yeah. We're still learning more, and um, I like to see something changed about it because I think something went wrong. Yeah. I don't. I, I think there was something wrong that happened, yeah. and uh, I like the investigation to find that out. So anyway, thanks for viewing, and we'll check y'all out next time. Peace out. Y'all don't move. I'm gonna get a uh, close up. Yeah. There are some flavored cigars that I do enjoy. I like the, the Java Mint. I do like that. Uh, I, get it. I, I think because some of the flavored cigars have to have a balance. They can't all just be flavored for me. For me, I, I, my first cigar was the Java Mint. When it comes to flavors, I'm not a big flavor guy because as I say my palate changed and I started smoking, I kind of went away from the flavor. I didn't like the flavored cigars as my palate grew. But if I had to say the Javas, it was Kuba, Kuba, Kuba Kuba was Acid. one of my, the Acids was one of my favorite ones when I first started smoking, but I kind of really went away from them as my palate grew. Cigar talk, cigar talk show.